what are the standout offensive lines seven weeks in? Well, the Eagles are one of them, for sure, yeah. 100%. I think the Redskins were playing really well. The Redskins lost three guys at various points on Monday night. It was a disaster for both offensive lines. Uh, Dallas finally looks like they're playing really well. Um, they play the Niners now and the Packers, two straight games, and those don't aren't the best defenses. The Raiders seem to kind of get their act together against, against um, the Chiefs. Oakland's the most, I think, talented top-to-bottom offensive line as far as just the talent and the physicality they play with. They just hadn't played well. They're transitioning schemes, and they're just kind of getting used to playing a different scheme. Um, the Titans have taken a little bit of step back. You know, everyone talks about the Titans. I'll tell you what, the Rams with Whitworth now and, and Sullivan at center are legit. Um, hey. I, you know, they're not, I don't think they contend for top five, but they're definitely serviceable for golf, and, and they're playing at a level that, that allows golf to succeed. Who has – give me, uh, like, I don't know, give me one or six of the worst that you've seen. Well, we know the Giants. Is it is that is it, is it that easy to just say that's why the Giants aren't good this year? I, uh, the, the Giants have – here's okay, here's the best way to put this. I don't like talking about the worst. I'll explain why they're the worst or why – not the Giants, but why offensive lines are the worst. Um, it's, it's not really that all five guys are bad – uh, it's that each guy takes a turn screwing up every single play. So, you you know, one play, the left tackle screws up. The next play, the right guard screws up. The next play, the center screws up. Then, you know, then you finally have all five guys doing the right thing and the tight end messes up. And then the very next play is the left guard. And so it's the consistency that you don't have up front. That sets the good offensive lines, you know, apart from the bad ones. You know, there's there's some offensive lines. You know, Justin Pugh and, and, and Weston Richburg are good offensive linemen. They're going to be free agents, and they're going to get a lot of money this offseason. Um, DJ Fluker has put in a right guard for, for the Giants, and he's played well at right guard. So you, the Giants have pieces there. The problem is, like like with every other offensive line that, that doesn't play well, they have a different guy taking a turn, making a mistake every play.